the realism okay. related to it. The other one's called Thermal HD. Thermal HD, Clip um, 7, yeah. Joe. Oh, this yeah. one, yep. So you can see the MQ-1C Gray Eagle right there. I mean, it's clearly an MQ-1C Gray Eagle. If you guys look it up, the cameras underneath the wing in the custom loadout location. This thing is flying so close to the plane that it indicates an operation. Like any military person that looks at this is going to know this looks like an operation. This uh, camera is being manually controlled. Uh, and there's a delay in it, and it shakes more accurately when they zoom in, just like a real camera would. You can see the same orbs here, and this is where we can tell what's going on with these orbs. This is so a plasma weird. field. Wow. So wow. this orb, this is not oh, a metal yeah. sphere. This is like a plasma uh, field around the orb, and when it zooms in even more, first of all, you can see these dark yeah. lines are actually in front of the orbs. They're not behind the orbs. They're in front of them, and it's like their own gravity well that they're pulling forward. Oh. Then you can see the heat signatures on these orbs as well, spinning around on their axis, which is consistent with topological monopoles that this science wasn't even public huh. back then. And you saw, saw that awesome. disappear. And if you let it play here as well, it will show uh, there's like a slow-mo version if you just let it keep going here where it shows the orbs in more detail. So the other okay. part, too, is like watch this next part where it goes and shows it, repeats it in slow-mo. And you're like, if you th if you made a fake video, why are you adding these slow-mo elements to it so that like if there was any mistake, people would catch them? Right. It's because they want to show people these are real. They want people to look at this and go, this is a plasma sphere. You can see it. There's probably something inside there. And the reason why I say that is because we've got multiple different effects happening here like these things are ignoring gravity they're pulling themselves forward and then they converge and zap this plane in this cold endothermic event which is an absorption of energy to be able to do all of that i feel like there's got to be something mechanical in there um so this person adds mm -hmm. you can see that heat signature in there as well and it's like a um kind of like a, a orange slice almost is what it looks like called the ukana vasara in terms of like the thor's hammer shape um, and then it shows the super slow-mo here where you actually, when you look into a lot of detail, you can see the orbs reorient. Once you, mm. like right here, when you see the orb right there, the orbs are reorienting, the heat signature goes away for a second, comes back, and then they got into orientation and then they converge. This is consistent with something called Coulomb's Law, which says that the force, electric force will increase as the distance between the charges decreases and it goes up exponentially. So people wonder, how do we get enough energy here? Is, well, you take these charged orbs and then you jam them together and then the force goes skyrockets right. in the air. So if you want to play the last video after we looked at that one, this is one that I made that was a combo. Mm -hmm. uh, people made like color changed versions of this to like let certain details stick out. This is the black and white version of it. And this, the black and white right here really just helps you see the movement of these orbs, like how perfect it is in this equilateral triangle that you see. Uh, as they're spinning around the plane here. Um, and then it'll show a super slow-mo of a close-up where you can actually see that the orbs are like getting distorted when they go through the smoke trail that we see there of the plane. Oh. Um, and I just can't imagine how somebody could have faked all these right. frames to this level of detail. You know, this is just actually a real MQ-1C drone filming 777. Yeah. Um, and we're seeing some crazy, I, I used to call them super harmonic uh, uh, orbs, but at this point, like I think it's I don't know maybe plasma if you want to think of it like that. And this one, you can see the the black lines in front of the orbs very clearly here. Um, you see those black lines pulling them forward, kind of wrapping around. Oh yeah. To me, I don't know how anyone could even come up with that. I've never seen anything like that or heard of anything like that in my life. Yeah, and um, Ashton, I don't want to throw you off of, of your presentation here, but I think that that the original video that really caught your attention. If I'm not mistaken, and I don't know if you want to go through this, but mm -hmm. it, it was very compelling to hear your theory on who could have leaked that yeah. footage, and 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 you're uh, you're trying to go down that trail with the attorney and stuff. Can you briefly just explain uh, your thought on on who might have leaked this stuff? Yeah. Uh, and so I think that the person who leaked this is Lieutenant Commander Edward C. Lynn. Uh, I looked at these videos back in October. I thought, wow, 